Uh, as a historian, I suspect long before you became the Taoiseach, our Taoiseach, you must have thought about what your enduring legacy might be. I used to think that the oft-quoted Fianna Fáil reflection on government as senior hurling was about political competition, the training and effort taken, the resilience and gumption required, and the skill of our national sport, not that our cabinet tugs out in their individual county jerseys. The mean-spirited question I have to ask of you today, Taoiseach, and I apologise in advance, is are you a Cork Taoiseach? Are, are you a Taoiseach who just happens to be from Cork? I ask this grim but important question because we are now halfway into your term as Taoiseach. And in that time, we have seen two budgets and the revised National Development Plan. I'd remind you of a pre-election promise you made to the people of the South East in 2016. You promised to provide 24-7 cardiac care to the South East region. You stood in a picture of the grounds of University Hospital Waterford with your candidate, with all your Fianna Fáil councillors in 2016, and you committed to delivering 24-7. That picture was at the centre of your 2016 campaign. It was the photo that restored a seat to your party in Waterford. You did not stand and promise another study, not another review, not another investigation. No, you deliberately stood in the grounds of UHW and you committed to deliver a long promised life-saving service, a service available to every other region of the country except to those of us in the South East. In the preceding 2011 election campaign, Enda Kenny pledged the South East to full university. And with that promise, he took half of the seats in the South East region, seven out of 14. But in power, he then resiled from that promise. His party, Fine Gael, now have just two of those 14 seats, while we in the region were left to pick up the massive economic and social costs of that last decade, heartbreaking when we see Grange Gorman spring into life. At this point in time, Taoiseach, your legacy in the South East is from your time as Minister for Education, when under pressure from Cork, you undid the Institute of Technology upgrade in 1997. In the South East region and in Waterford, Enda Kenny's legacy is entirely framed in his unkept promise, his broken word. My question to you, Taoiseach, is a simple question. Will there be a 24-7 cardiac care service, a service available to every other region in Ireland, in the South East before you leave the Taoiseach's office. Will you be keeping your promise, Taoiseach? Well, um, when I was a history student, the first thing I was told that one should always endeavour to be objective in terms of one's historical narrative uh, and to try and see all sides of the story uh, and of the equation and not through the prism of one's own narrow sort of perspective, maybe, or um, partisan view of things. Um, I would like to think I recall back at the time when I was Minister for Education, uh, many of the uh, institutes of technology or then regional technical colleges were looking for status upgrades and so on. And I recall looking at the plant, the actual buildings, and saying, do you not think it would be better if we invested substantially in the capacity of the colleges? And my legacy actually to Waterford was buying that additional land, which has guaranteed since the late 90s the, the very significant expansion of Waterford Institute of Technology to such an extent that under international peer review it can compete to be a university and will become a technological university. And that's the way universities should become universities. Not actually at the whim of politicians arriving at some platform and announcing I'm going to make you into a university with no regard to capacity or no regard to uh, a whole range of investments that should happen in advance. Now, that's the approach I took as a Minister for Education. Um, and we did set up, uh, we had a binary system where we set up a peer review. We provided for technological universities to happen. And sub successive ministers have progressed that uh, idea of developing institutes into technological universities and doing so in a fair way that has, that has credibility internationally. And that when it has credibility internationally, the region benefits in terms of more investment. And we know that the Technology University in Waterford has really advanced over the last decade or two and has developed significant specialties, not least in the area of enterprise 
um, and industry uh, and so forth. And quite a number of foreign direct investments have occurred as a result of that. And I would say, Deputy, the time has come to talk up Waterford, to talk up the third level institution in Waterford, because it has a lot to, 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 to commend itself. That's what I would do. I have great belief in that institute. And I believe it's going to, along with Carlo, become a technological university. And that's great for the region. Uh, and, and, and we are committed to doing that, and we are committed to the consequential investments that will be required. And Minister Harris is in his capacity as Minister uh, for Higher Education um, and, and Research. And in respect of the, the hospital, I know you know your colleague, Minister Mary Butler, has been tenacious, determined, uh, alongside your, which are you and others in, in, in the constituency, to uh, advance the situation uh, in terms of the, the cat lab and in terms of cardiac um, cover. And the programme for government commits to the delivery uh, of a second cat lab in University Hospital Waterford. Funding has been allocated. The contractor for the construction of the new cat lab was formally appointed in March. The project commenced, as you know, in Thank May you. Of, you, of this year, uh, and with a work programme of about 13 Her months. And, and, and the equipping and the staffing is provided you, for and, and will happen. Uh, well, Taoiseach, you spectacularly failed to answer the question that I actually asked of you. And what I take from that basically is that your hard answer is a no, and that you will leave office in December in 14 months now without that promise kept to the people of the South East. And promises are being kept elsewhere in the programme for government, despite the incredible challenges of COVID. But if your promise cannot be kept on 24-7 for the South East, well, then I think, frankly, politics is broken in this country. There are huge swathes of the country that feel unrepresented by the present Cork Dublin cabinet, to be fair. Reasonable and necessary things, life-saving things, like 24-7 cardiac care in the South East, are not being delivered, and they cannot get done. So you are just halfway, Taoiseach, into your term at this stage. I believe you have time if you decide to take action. I think your legacy, and possibly that of your party in the South East, will be the promises that you made to stoke up political support on the cardiac issue, and whether you are a man of your word to deliver on them. To We're going to dramatically expand the cardiac provision. You know that, and it's provided for, and it's taken... No, sorry, we need to get the second cat lab bid. We need to get it staffed. And you know how to, that's how you progress it, and that's how you get to your, 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 your 24. So you have to progress it. You know that by, at this stage, through all the deliberations uh, that we have been through. Um, and in terms of uh, you know, the, the, the University Hospital of Waterford, they're commencing the recruitment of the required staff right now. Um, for the second catheterization lab in the coming months. That's a massive improvement. And you know the arrangement in terms of interventional cardiology, uh, diagnostic elective procedures between UHW and um, UPMC in Waterford and the service level agreement that has been um, arrived at. And you also know that in terms of the North Keys, the largest ever investment by a government in Waterford was announced sorry, and committed to. No, but sorry, but, 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 but you're talking about and creating a narrative of sort of partisan investment in different parts of the country. There's huge investment committed and announced and allocated to Waterford in terms of the physical infrastructure, the North Keys, in terms of the hospital, there's investment, and uh, in terms of the new technological university as well, which I think would be very beneficial right. to the Thank region. You,